Welcome back to Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker. I'm Mr. Bunker, and now we're going to be continuing with Lunar. To Berg. Good morning. I trust you slept well. Are you ready to set sail? Mm, I'm ready. Then let us not waste another moment. To Berg. Are we didn't going to get another singing cutscene? So tell me, what drives you to become the Dragon Master? What leads you to attempt what so many others before you have tried and failed to achieve? Well, hmm? I want to protect the people of our world and the people I care about. How oh, very noble of you, but the Dragon Master's power is meant for much more than mere protection, and the magnitude of this responsibility to wield that power well is immeasurable. May I ask another question of you? Uh, of course, sir. You had to choose between the survival of the one you cared about the most, or the lives of everyone in our world. Which would it be? One or many? Love or duty? How... How could anyone make that choice? A Dragon Master is forced to make such choices every day of his existence. But we're getting considerably ahead of ourselves, aren't we? You're not a Dragon Master yet, not even close. Think about my question during your travels, boy. The closer you are to becoming a Dragon Master, the more important it is to answer. Makes sense. The one he cares about most. By the way, Luna, so renowned is your singing voice that word of your abilities spread all the way to Vane. When you reach Berg, I would desire nothing more than to hear you. I don't think my voice is that special, but I'd be honored to sing for you, Master Galleon. And she also kind of already sang for you when she was being held captive. You kind of already heard it. <laughs> I look forward to it, Luna. And there's no need to be modest about your talent. You have gift. You should share it with the world. Look, Alex, over there on the edge of the horizon, it's safe. It's so good to be back home. Hooray. So much shorter and less eventful voyage this time. Well, that was a... What a quaint little hovel this is. You look tired, boy, but as I say, no rest for the wicked. Take me to the cave of the white dragon. I'm anxious to catch up with him. And now we got Galleon in the party. And he's got super good equipment. He's got a wind cane, wisdom robe, jewel bracelet, and a tri-ring, of course. And then he's got inferno, nitro dagger, tornado, and rock and roll for his abilities. Rock and roll! He's got two attacks, but obviously way more magic stuff for him. <laughs> and level 99 experience, etc. Da da da. Pretty basic stuff for max level characters. Very similar to Lake when we had him for a bit. Harg, I'll wait for you. Oh, Harg, I'll wait here for you till you take care of your business with the white dragon. Harg. What is that? I always wondered what this was in the background. Kind of looks like an amoeba. Like they're warning people about the dangers of diseases in the seawater or something. But then there's like this arrow that points over to these flowers. Are they diseased flowers? The Saith YMCA is pleased to offer weekly swimming lessons at the pier. It's free and it's fun. Remember, captains, nothing is more embarrassing than when your seamen don't swim. Very true, very true. Still don't understand what the picture is. Maybe... Maybe it's more about seamen than about swimming. Anyway. <laughs> what do you have to say, Goggles? Welcome to Saith. Good to see you again. Do you remember us? Of course, you saved our homes and our jobs. How could we forget such selfless, selfless heroism? You kids are heroes here in Saith. Please make yourself at home. Aw, ain't that sweet. But we're leaving. <laughs> Alright, we were asked by the hag on Black Rose Street to check out... Oh, these stay open. The traps. I thought they would have reset. Um, anyway, sorry. We are going to check in on the hag in the forest because she is sister to the hag in vain. And the hag in vain wants to, or not vain, excuse me, Moribia. So we're going to see if the hag will go back to her sister on Black Rose Street. Oops. 
and pretty sweet. Obviously not the quickest way to end a battle, but... Hmm. Flash cut definitely would have taken a lot less time, but... Ah! That was pretty cool. Again, super cool, but not exactly the fastest way to kill stuff. Freedom! Uh, that's kind of what I expected. They didn't change the dialogue for the trap at all. Even though Nash isn't in my party, Nall still makes fun of him. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Chickens? Chickens look pretty plump. I wonder if the old hag's just going to eat them. That seems to be what most people do with chickens. Hey, lady. Let's get her in a visible area. And get my guys out of the way, jeez. We met your sister on Black Rose Street. She, sh she said you should come live with her. I haven't heard from my sister in 120 years. Now she wants to be friends. Bah, witch. You children are kind and come visit me all the time, especially with all the nasty things people say about me. Why don't you take this? A nice mace. I took the water cane you gave me and combined it with Tail of Wasp and Essence of Ant. But the power of the cane can only be harnessed by a priest. Do we know any priests? Wait, what about Jessica? She's right, Alex. Let's take this to Jessica. Sure thing. Sweet. So we got a sweet weapon for Jessica. We're going to save, and then I want to talk to her again. Okay. Is the ice cane helping you out? Hee hee hee. Not yet. I'm a little shocked that she has nothing to say about the fact that I have Galleon with me. The, like, strongest magician around, basically. Especially with Lamia out of commission. Oh, yep, yep. Getting stuck on trees and into the weird woods. Right? Pretty sure that's what this was. The weird woods, the wacky woods. Oh, wait, do they? Hang on. Why are you not doing anything? Let's see, this guy? Yeah, I think... I can't remember entire... Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess the AI was just being difficult at that point. I think I remember if you get to a certain uh, level above the enemies around, they won't chase after you, they'll actually flee. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's something that happens. Sweet. And it was pretty quick, actually. Didn't take as long as uh, Inferno, that's for sure. Doo -doo -doo. Right, here's where we met Lake. Nothing exciting going on now. Oh, hello, eyeball monster. Ah, you suck. <laughs> Alright, let's check out Rock and Roll. <laughs> Definitely an earthquake. <laughs> the first rock really looked like it hit Galleon right off the bat, but whatever. <laughs> right. Is this guy going to charge at me too? No, see, he's moving away. So yeah, these things are weak enough that they go away from me, but this thing is still charging at me, obviously. Go away. Go away, I'm scary. No, not that way. Hmm. Ball monsters. Why did it have to be eyeball monsters? Hide behind the trees and run. Ooh, he didn't even notice me. All right, bush monster, get out of here. Ooh, ooh, through the woods. Yay. Master Galleon, man, what a trip to see you here. This is awesome. Totally awesome. So, how long have you been one of Galleon's disciples, Alex? Alex isn't serving Galleon. He's just helping him out. True. Got to talk to Ramus's papa. Hello, papa. Alex, it's good to see you again. I suppose my lazy son's right behind you. What? He started a business in Moribia. I didn't know he had any talent. Oh, well. He'll give up soon enough and come back crying. Count on it. 
My son is meant to lead this village someday, not sell trinkets to people with no brains and too much money. Yeah, so that's really the reason why Ramus gets so much crap from his dad. It's because his dad is the leader of this whole town, and Ramus is supposed to be the next leader, and instead he just wants to go off on adventures and make money rather than being a leader to this town. Which isn't something I feel like they really say enough. Ramus just seems like your fat, stupid friend. And like that seems to be why his father's angry at him, but it's more about the entire village. <laughs> I'm so worried Ramus could be hungry and homeless on the streets of Moribia right now. You don't need to worry. Ramus is fine. He's running his own business in Moribia. To think that Ramus is the owner of such a large and successful store, I'm so proud of him. I just hope he's smart enough not to get bamboozled by all those bad people in Moribia. Actually. <laughs> eh? Yeah, still locked. Hey, dog. Bark three times and turn in a circle, something like that. Let's check out the old singing spot. Oh, should I not have done this right away? My fault. Something about this situation is familiar, isn't it? I always get such a strange feeling when we practice our songs, Alex. It's as if we're not learning the songs, but reawakening our memories of them. You've become an amazing man since we started this journey, Alex. No, I'm wrong. You've been a man for a long time. It just took this journey to open my eyes to you. We've already had so many adventures, Alex, and we have so many more yet ahead of us. I know not all of them will be joyful. But whatever we encounter, I know we'll face the future together, won't we, Alex? Of course, Luna. Something wrong. You seem sad somehow. No, no, nothing. Let's go and see Quark. I know he'll be happy to see you. Okay, so I think that was actually a scene that I don't remember seeing. So I think that was an extra scene. And now that I'm uh, experiencing it while I'm actually thinking critically, that was a very interesting scene. I liked that a lot. <laughs> oh my, Alex, you're back. It's good to see you again. Who's this gentleman with you? Just as I suspected, it's Master Galleon. Why would you suspect that? Is it because of his giant purple magician hat <laughs> what business has brought you here Dines memorial it's to the north of here but you know that of course galleon seems upset being here must have revived the memories of Dines' death mm, quite perceptive old man yeah they have been saying galleon and Dine were good friends this monument is pathetic a feeble attempt to keep Dine's memory alive. Our world must stop dwelling on the relics of the past and look to the future. A future ruled by one stronger than a feeble dragon master. One who can unite the world with pure strength of will alone. Okay. That's a little much, Galleon. A little creepy. Let's move on. Alright, let's visit the parents. Let's see, let's talk to Mama first. Oh my goodness, is that Master Galleon with you? Alex, I can't believe it. Galleon, it's an honor to meet one of the four heroes. Alex, you should have given me some sort of warning. My hair's a mess. Were you okay on your trip? Did you catch a cold? Did you get a tummy ache? You feel warm. We're all fine. Alex, no, what are you doing back in the village so soon? What? You're guiding Master Galleon across our island. Oh, my. Master Galleon, please forgive my ignorance. I did not recognize you. This is such a great honor. Please have mercy on my son and shower him with the benefit of your wisdom. Your son is already wise beyond his years. He reminds me so much of Dine. It's frightening, really. You've become a man, Alex. No doubt about it. I've never been more proud of you. Oh, that's sweet. My parents are so sweet. Nothing we can use inside here, Alex. Yeah, it looks like we got everything long ago. Do do do. Can I go to my bed? 
Nope, Alex's bed is completely uninteresting. <laughs> Magic Emperor Galleon, hail the master! Psst, sir, you have a booger hanging out of your nose. Let me get it, if you don't mess up your gloves and embarrass yourself. The only digits allowed to penetrate my nostrils are my own, you ignorant fop. Eh, that's funny. Galleon, with the death of Dine, you are now the world's greatest hero. Have you come here to pay your respect to our, your fallen friend? Clearly not quite. We, we saw what happened over there. Talked to the parents. Like, we didn't even need to stop in here, I don't think. Pretty, 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 pretty sure you can just go straight to the White Dragon Cave and avoid all this. Into the cave. Oh no, blobs. Oh yeah, and the ice is still broken. Hey, bow. Oh, the original bow. Oh, the noise of the fly took it over. One more bow. Oh, I was talking during that one, sorry. One more. We got a double bow. Okay, let's go. Alright. <laughs> let's save with another bow. And we'll pop through to Quark's Cave Cavern. It's so pretty. You have returned, Alex, and even stronger than when I last beheld you. Galleon, it has been many years since I last saw you. Fifteen, to be precise, Quark. Not since that dark day when dear Dragon Master Dine. Oh, yes, I remember all too well your disappointment. Quark, I have a question to ask of you. This girl, the one they call Luna, is she the child born that day? Huh? Hmm? Truth is a dangerous thing to some, Galleon. If you knew the truth, perhaps it would. Our world is on the verge of chaos, dear Quark, and I must know if the cause is what I suspect it to be. Tell me, Quark, tell me the truth I deserve to know. You were the Dragon Master's best friend, Galleon. If he trusted you with his life, I can trust you with the truth. Yes, Luna is the one. Hmm. Surely you understand why Dine kept this from you, Galleon? <laughs> oh, then the time has finally come. My coming out party can begin. Send in the clowns. Man, that whole line was crazy. An awesome laugh and then a bunch of cliche stuff. <laughs> By Alfina, what have you done, Galleon? Not Galleon, dear Quark. Magic Emperor Galleon. Magic Emperor? Galleon, no! No, no. <laughs> Galleon, yes! <laughs> Someday people may mourn this day, but my glorious rule can only begin with your enslavement. <laughs> Sweet dragon shield goes up. shall be the cornerstone of a new order. My 
world order. But... <laughs> Who shall be my queen? Creep. Luna! Now I know the truth. The world shall be mine on a delicious half shell. And of course, now that he's the major evil villain, he has a bunch of horrible one liners. And a maniacal laugh. And that's the end. <laughs> We're back in our bed. What? What happened? Where? Where am I? This... This is Alex's house, but I thought we were in the cave. No? Alex, what happened to us? The last thing I remember is going into the white dragon cave with Galleon. Galleon... Wait, I remember now. I know what happened. Luna! Alex, she was kidnapped. Alex, no, you're finally awake. Alien took Luna and... I know, Nal. You were brought here by an old friend. A man named Lake. He found you in the White Dragon Cave and brought you here. I believe he's at Dine's Monument. You should go and thank him for saving your lives probably would have frozen to death had he not discovered you. It is a nice cavern. First thing, let's check that teddy bear. Let's get ourselves a hug. Never understood why Luna liked this nasty thing so much, but I always understood why she loved you, Alex. Hmm. We'll check the cupboards for memories. There's nothing in here but a bunch of junk, Alex. Hey, wait, what's that? I I forgot that was in here. Hmm. Come on, Alex. Luna's waiting for us to save her. That's right. Mommy. Oh, Alex, you're awake. You're alive. I was so worried about you. I prayed to Althena the entire time you slept. I don't know what I would have done without my precious little boy. Oh, Alex, of course I'm worried about Luna, but I know you'll save her. You're my precious little adventurer. Alex, Galleon might have taken Luna's body away, but her heart is always with you. Remember that, son, and get going. Every moment she's held hostage by that leech is a moment too long. Well said. Alex... Galleon might have taken... Oops, same thing. <laughs> so, let's check out the monument. Oh. Alex, you and Luna have grown up together. Your mother and I have watched a bond form between you, and we have watched that bond turn from friendship into love. I don't know if you've told her how you feel, Alex. Perhaps she already knows, but you must tell her now. Save her from Galleon. Will do. Alex, that man who saved you from the White Dragon Cave hiked up to Dine's Monument. He was here once before, if memory serves. Why don't you go and speak to him? Let's say hi to the cow real quick. Hi, cow. Dragon Master needs strong teeth and bones to do his job well. I'm glad you drank so much milk, Alex. It did your body good. track replays all right well let's save while we're all alone just us and our flying cat L lake oh, oh good you two are awake i was afraid your sleep might be the of the eternal type Thank you for helping us, Lake. We owe you our lives. But what the heck were you doing in the White Dragon Cave? Ho 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 ha! I thought you might ask that, Nah, but mum's the word. I hate secrets. 
Alex, I'm sorry for what happened to Luna, but what are you going to do? What am I going to do? For starters, I'm going to bite Galleon right in the- I meant you, Alex. What do you plan to do now? I... I'm going to think and then act decisively, Alex. I'm going to save Luna. Don't really care if I defeat Galleon, to be honest. As long as Luna is saved. I'm going to go rescue Luna from Galleon's clutches. Galleon now fancies himself the Magic Emperor. He rules over the vile tribe of the frontier. Now that he has assumed the role of Magic Emperor, his power must be immense. Even knowing all this, Alex, will you still risk your life to fight him? Without question. And so good. Like, I know it's simple, but the turn from the sad music to the adventure music right as you make your decision. They did it right. They did it so well. Hmm. <laughs> Dragon Master Dine would be proud of your bravery, Alex. He would marvel at the strength that you have nurtured in your heart. Alex, do you know what killed Dine? No? As with many, Dine fell victim to love. He swore to her that he would do anything for the woman he fancied. When the time came to protect her heart, he used all the power he had. And the Dine everyone knew as the greatest Dragon Master ever perished. Hmm. Ho ho! Love is never an easy thing, Alex. But you say you want to help Luna, so you must become the Dragon Master, because to save her, you will fight a stronger opponent than Dine ever faced. Uh, I'll do it, Lake. Oh, haha, ha, good answer. Here, Alex, I have something to cheer you up. After that depressing story about Dine, I hope so. Ah, oh, haha, ha, don't worry, Nal, I promise you'll like this. I found this in the White Dragon Cave, Alex. I want you to have it. You're going to find it as useful as Dine did. Got dragon wings. I'll see you soon. What a strange man, Alex. I'm glad he's helping us, but why is he doing it? I'm glad you're going to fight Galleon, because I'd hate to have to rescue Luna on my own. <laughs> I'd hate to have to rescue the both of you. Okay, Alex, we need to find out where Galleon went. Maybe the white dragon wings Lake gave us will help. Let's try them and see what happens. First, let's say hello. Help us, Dragon Master Dine. Help us save Luna. Suppose we can say goodbye to the parents now, though. And the music goes back to normal. I killed the intense mood. Yeah, it's the same dialogue. Killed it for no reason. <laughs> I can't believe that the heroic Galleon has become the vile Magic Emperor. If Dine were still alive, none of this would have happened, and I wish I hadn't lived to see this sad day. Please don't say that, old man. You should treasure the life Althena gave you no matter how old you are. I'm sorry, Nal, but it's true. I don't want to be alive to watch Galleon enslave our world. Alright, so... We have our new item in hand. So we will try it out. Oh, but first, let us try out our new bromide. Luna's bromide number two, the playful wind. So that's very sweet, but, oh, I can. I didn't think I could equip it. So yeah, we got three bromides and it's nice that Facia's bromide doesn't have a number next to it because that means we can assume it's the only one. Make sure we're healed. And then we are going to use our new item and go somewhere, but we will do that next time. I really appreciate you watching. Have a good one. Oh, but what about the squishy one? I need a hug. Okay.